Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. So uh, Masterverse Wave 1, I've got it in. So I'm filling out my Masterverse collection. Um, so let's take a look at Masterverse Wave 1. Today, this time we'll look at the good guys. So welcome into my channel. If you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe for more great 80s, 90s toy collecting videos, 80s, 90s nostalgia, things of that nature. I hope you enjoy and let's take a look at these toys. All right, here we go. More Masterverse. Uh, I got all of Wave 1 and Battle Cat now. And so uh, to add to my uh, Faker and Skelegod. So I'm pretty caught up. I guess some people have Wave 2 though. So that'd be the only thing. I'm, I don't think anybody has Wave 3. So this basically would get me caught up. So for this video, we're going to do the good guys. He-Man and Moss Man and Battle Cat. Then we'll make another video for the bad guys. So I guess we'll start off with the man himself, He-Man. Now, looking at him, he looks a little bit better to me than I thought. I've talked bad about the power harness. Uh, it is that dinky power harness, but I'm gonna, for some reason it doesn't look quite as bad on He-Man as it did to me on Faker. I don't know why, but anyways. So I got my order for Big Bad Toy Store. I went ahead and got the subpar packaging and saved a few bucks on the order, so. It is an option. I'm not too, like, I don't care a whole lot about the packaging, but I will keep it. So here we go. Uh, Masters Verse, uh, Revelation, He-Man. So once again, uh, the new cartoon on Netflix is Masters of the Universe Revelations. And so that's what's kicking off the Masterverse line. So we've got the first wave of figures, and we'll start with the good guys. So there's He-Man side art, and that looks pretty awesome, actually more reminiscent of the actual cartoon uh, of the proportions but he's looking okay he's looking okay and then looking on the back we've got nice artwork of he-man and his bio here's his bio if you want to check that out and then we've got the wave Runt one cross cell there and then on the other side of course we got the uh naming convention all right so here we go uh arguably controversially the the main character of mass of the universe but people are kind of saying that tila kind of took over in revelation but anyways uh we got he-man uh that's where you got to start it off with um no more of this uh no more fakers so let's get masters of the universe masterverse revelation he-man out and see what he's all about all right here we go master of the universe revelation he-man out of the package Looks pretty good. Looks better than I thought. Like people said, I, I saw from some other YouTubers that said, get him in your hands and uh, you may be surprised. So He-Man comes with his uh, fist hand in the package, but we have his extra hands to do dual wielding. Um, we could have dual wielding or right now look, he's basically got like a shield hand on. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and swap out his fist hand. So He-Man comes with, in addition to his hands, of course, his power sword and his shield. And I'm surprised that uh, it's actually the same color as Faker's shield. I thought it would be different, but I guess it's not. So yeah, I'm surprised about that. I thought, man, I thought He-Man's shield colors matched his power harness. Did anybody else, does that seem off to anybody else? All right, there we go. Um, yeah, I gotta really, I gotta look at other reviews and see if I just got the wrong one because why would his shield be orange like that? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm totally wrong. But uh, another thing is like a lot of people don't like the, this head sculpt. It's not bad. It it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It's he's okay. It's a it's a pretty good representation of He Man. It doesn't. It doesn't give you that whoa dude feeling like classics he-man does where you're like man this is a magnificent figure but it's fine for the line uh and we've got other versions like uh viking he-man coming which will uh hopefully uh hopefully uh make up for it so there we go master universe revelation basic he-man And one thing to make He-Man even better is his trusty sidekick, his mount, Battle Cat. 
So let's go ahead and get into Battle Cat so we can get uh, He-Man. Maybe that'll make He-Man look better on, uh, whenever he's on Battle Cat. So here we go. Masters of the Universe Revelation Battle Cat from the Masterverse line. Uh, massive, massive Battle Cat here. Uh, I recently had the Classics Battle Cat and this thing dwarfs that. I can tell. I don't have it for comparison, but I can certainly tell that this thing is quite massive. So... So uh, all these figures, by the way, boast 30 points of articulation, so, and Battle Cat is included in that. It's pretty crazy. He's got the, uh, you can tell he's got the articulated paws like the Origins one was lacking. Um, and he shares all the same stuff, the side artwork. Looks pretty cool. Let's check out this back artwork. That's a pretty nice scene. He-Man on Battle Cat with oh, uh, Zoar in the background there which is the sorceress, of course. And then uh, Castle Grayskull on the back. Uh, I wonder what the chances are of getting a Castle Grayskull for this line. I I don't know, probably not. But uh, we got the cross over there, including Skeleton God. And this here, it says, uh, okay, so they did paint the face to make it look to where it can easily look like cring Cringer. So that's pretty cool. And then we got uh, Battle Cat's bio, if you want to check it out. So you can see a size comparison of the box. Uh, this is quite a big, much a bigger box. It's a pretty big figure. Almost looks like it's not in scale with the line, but I guess it. I mean, obviously it must be. But anyways, let's check it out. Let's get Masters of the Universe, Masterverse Revelations Battle Cat out and see what he's all about. All right, here we go. Masters vs. Battle Cat out of the package, and yeah, he's quite a massive figure. Uh, got that stylized uh, Revelation style um, sculpted uh, helmet. Uh, I guess it does make sense with the because the way the Masterverse was drawn, it seemed like Battle Cat was pretty big because uh, they're really trying to show that whenever these, whenever, whenever beings are, uh, you know. Uh, have the power of Grayskull that they're they're much larger right and more powerful so of course you know Prince Adam turns into He-Man and then he transforms Battle Cat you know Cringer into Battle Cat but um, this guy's supposed to look like Cringer which he does that's pretty cool that paints pretty nice but uh, that's a pretty massive Cringer <laughs> so you can have his mouth shut and that gives him more of that Cringer look with the fang coming out on the side of the mouth it's pretty cool but he still has a ferocious look whenever he has the Battle Cat helmet on. Pretty cool. One thing I do notice about this uh, Battle Cat armor is that this saddle is very, very thin, like a rubbery plastic. Or maybe it is rubber, I don't know. But it's very, very flimsy and thin feeling. Feels like it is going to like warp and stuff over time just because of how thin it is. Very thin material. That's kind of a disappointment. The helmet doesn't share that. It's more thick and rigid. This one's got a lot of head and neck articulation. I hope it doesn't It doesn't look like it's going to. Like The body's big and the neck and head are pretty small. Where the Masters of the Universe Classics designs have a pretty heavy head. And it could... Uh, the, the Classics uh, Battle Cat that I had before I sold it was... The head would droop down uh, if you're not careful. So there is the massive beast battle cat. And so now we got to see what He-Man looks like on him. <clears throat> How do you even sit He-Man on this guy? <laughs> I don't know this like this battle cat like looks almost too big but this is the battle cat that goes with the line and one thing about he-man's you know his waist loincloth is that soft rubber uh, but it kind of gets in the way I'll keep working with it I'll give it more tries but uh, anyways here we go master verse he-man on battle cat
All right, last of the good guys for wave one, we've got Moss Man. So Moss Man was in the cartoon only very briefly and he gets killed. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I should have said, sorry, but most people probably have seen it that are gonna see it at this point. Uh, so we got Moss Man. Uh, they went with just uh, plastic this time. There's no flocking or anything like that. So we got Mas Moss Man, the heroic spy and master of camouflage. Some pretty cool art. And it looks like we've got Beast Man and Skeletor in the background. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's look at his side art. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool character to just die like really quickly. <laughs> so let's get Moss Man out and see what he's all about. All right, here we go. Moss Man out of the package. And uh, this is a pretty cool figure. This one looks cool. A lot of detail. Uh, I love the different shades of green and everything got some pretty crazy feet and everything that's a neat figure very unique looking and he came with a little uh, extended vine hand accessory no weapons of no other than his own this I guess you could say um, so, and then he came with two different kinds of sets of hands, like more like if you want to pose his fingers in certain ways, that's interesting. And then the hands he has on are like wielding hands, so he could wield a weapon, but he did not include a weapon. I don't know why they couldn't just throw in his vintage uh, style, vintage style uh, club or mace or whatever it was, that brown mace he had. I mean, we saw Faker. Faker didn't wear this armor in the in the cartoon, but we still got it, you know. So, anyways, uh, I'm happy with this figure. It's pretty cool, and um, these hands would be pretty cool to pose, you know. However, you you want to make him like uh, waving his hands around. Let's see how this uh, vine accessory works. Uh, it's gonna be hard to to keep him standing, I think, with that thing. But uh, pretty cool. You could do some kind of uh, scene diorama. Actually, he, he might stand with that thing. Yeah, he will. Wow, because his feet have such a broad base that you could actually stand him like that. Cool. Hey, good design. Oh, he's about to fall. <laughs> Pretty neat. It is quite a, quite a heavy, big accessory, though, to just be uh, attached to his hand. I'm going to go with these hands for now. They look pretty cool. All right, I'm liking how the line is so far. Uh, I have obviously a few critiques that I've noted noting in the videos. Um, I'm not just all nostalgic. Uh, I'm not. I don't have any nostalgic blinders like with Origins. Uh, I have a hard time finding a lot of wrong with Origins line, but this one I seem to be a little bit critical. And that Battle Cat definitely doesn't seem like he's the proper scale to me. He should be a little bit smaller, or at least his saddle should have been designed differently. But ultimately, uh, it's still a pretty cool, pretty cool toy line. Some of these figures are looking pretty awesome. And so stay tuned for part two. We'll get the bad guys out for wave one and complete wave one. So I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.